welcome back to Ram Talk, and I'm here now with Freddie and Mason, who are with the Wounded Warrior Project, which is in conjunction with Team um, Four Mill, correct? That's correct. All right. So tell me about yourselves and where you're from. Um, I'm from. Sorry, I'm from <laughs> New York. Are you from New York? New York? Okay. And how about you? Uh, from North Carolina. From North Carolina. And how did you uh, get involved in this project? Well, I got a phone call a couple of months ago, and they asked me if I want to participate in, in this event. I was like, hey, why not? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a great opportunity for me to to see how far I can take my recovery, but at the same time, it will give me the opportunity to uh, to be around soldiers, you know, people that have the same disability that I had. Mm -hmm. Uh, last year, uh, Ryan Coles from the Warrior Project uh, gave me a call and asked me if I'd participate and support Team 4 Mill as part of the Wounded Warrior Project, so I did that. Uh, fell in love with the Wounded Warrior Pro uh, Team 4 Mill and their desire, so and that's where I'm at. Fantastic. And how did you get into cycling? Um, it's a long story. When, uh, when I first got wounded, um, I was awarded to the hospital for you know, two years, and uh, I remember the first, the first couple of months when I got there, uh, the first people that I saw was the Wounded Warrior Project, and, uh, and they asked me for one to do hand cycling, like, hand cycling, what is hand cycling? No, don't worry, we'll show you. Mm -hmm. And uh, long short story, you know, they got me, they, I was introduced into hand cycling and now I discovered through my passion. And, mm -hmm. and it was through hand cycling that I was able to incorporate myself back to society, not just physically and mentally, but also socially. Mm -hmm. and you? I got involved, uh, like I said, uh, Ron Coles confronted me and asked me, and I didn't want to support Team Four Mill last, last year without knowing anything about bikes, which I didn't. Uh, so I did a soldier ride with the Wounded Warrior Project and, uh, and realized I could ride a bike. So got involved there. That was my first time ever on a road bike. It was last year, and I've been riding since January. Mm -hmm. And what are you most looking forward to with this race? Is, it, is this your first time racing? You were on the crew last year, you said? That's correct. All right, this is your first time racing. What yes, are you most looking forward to, besides the finish line? <laughs> Well, I'm looking forward, I mean, I just want to have a great time. I'm looking forward to have a great time, but also, I'm looking forward to, you know, send a message, you know. I, I want to do it for those that, for the ones that are, that can't do it anymore, and for those, you know, for, for the, for, you know, fallen brothers that, that are not here with us today. Mm -hmm. uh, I look forward to uh, Jim Weinstein with Team Fort Mill. I'm looking forward to just saying, hey, Jim, I, I did what you told me to for all these months, and looking forward to successfully completing mm -hmm. and then being the UK obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about what you've been going uh, or what you've been doing to prepare for this race as far as training and logistics and, and kind of the behind the scenes to what it takes to accomplish something like this. Well for me this is just going to be an, uh, a different level. This is what I do every day. I, I do 40 miles every day. I work. I mean I'm not working right now so cycling is like um, it's my passion. That's what I do. I do 20 miles in the morning, uh, go to the gym, work out, then do another 20 in the afternoon. So if I'm not training, I'm racing. So, and to be able to do, to participate in an event like this, I mean, this is uh, just taking my, my uh, recovery to another level. So I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very time consuming as, as with, the, with the wife and, and daughter, I have to spend a lot of my time away from the family. Uh, and I also own my own business, so I spend a lot of my time away from my business and family mm -hmm. on a bike. Mm -hmm. And then I have to deal with prosthetics and trying to figure out everything with that. What business are you in? Uh, I own government contracting firm. Okay, great. And I noticed that you said you train and work out a lot. What do you do to relax, or is this how is how you relax is on the uh, bike? <laughs> it's kind of funny because uh, for some, you know, happy is this, so I can't relax. So cycling is is. It's the way, you know, it's, it's a good way for me to relax, you know. It's kind of, it's kind of funny, but when I'm cycling, it's the only way that I can connect myself physically and mentally. And I don't think about my disability, you know, it's, it, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Okay. And I love it. That's great. Is there anything you'd like to say to your family uh, and friends out there watching on, online today? Uh, well, I just want to say uh, thank you for all the support and uh, hope to see all of them at the end of, you know, at the finish uh, of the race. Mm -hmm. I'm good. You're good? <laughs> Want to say hi to your wife and daughter, maybe? <laughs> hey, word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Well, thank you so much for your time today, and we'll definitely be looking for you in an office. Thank you.